to Morning in the Mountains uh, on Mountain Fun Life. And I'm Robert Ownby, and I'm here with Mr. Brian Hoffman, a.k.a. Red Skelton. And, hey, we have already, we have, before we started <laughs> filming, we've been, yeah. we've been over here just uh, kicking up the dust and yes, having quite a bit of fun. Yeah. First of all, it's really good to have you on uh on our show here, well, well, thank you Morning for having in the Mountains, yeah. and uh, why don't you tell us a little little bit about uh, your show? Well, a little bit about my show is uh, is recreating Red Skelton's humor, his laughter, his legacy, all the fun little witty jokes that uh, he was, the plays on words uh, and then the pantomimes, I love those. those so, are a lot in, of fun. In, in other words, it's an impressionist of, yep. of the artist or the yes, actor, it is. and it's, uh, yeah. I, I have never seen your show personally. But I've seen uh, some YouTube clips of it, and I'm Thank telling you. you, it is. I have never, personally, never, ever, in my opinion and my remembrance, ever seen anyone do uh, an impression of an artist that has it nailed any more closely <laughs> than you do. I have well, to give you, you credit. Well, and uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love it. I love it. Hey, we've already had a show here before we went yeah. on uh, live. So, but. Uh, we uh, now, what what drew your interest? How how did you become interested in being a comedian or an impressionist? Well, I used to. I've, I've done many many different jobs in my lifetime, from farmer to truck driver to a welder to a car salesman to a perfume peddler to a, a guy who held the sign on the side of a road. So I just couldn't find my niche, but I always enjoyed making people laugh. I suppose you found humor in all that too. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, absolutely. and you were, a, you did farming. Oh yeah. yeah I was raised years. on a little mountain farm. Oh, uh, I, yeah. I've done farming, done the plowing with the old mule and, and you know, you get, you get. You <laughs> we get actually had tractors. Oh, you had, tra <laughs> <laughs> you had tractors. Okay. Well, that's great. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> it's uh, uh, humor. <laughs> Life is full of humor yeah. if we just look for it. And oh, yeah. you seem to have that ability to find that little yeah. uh, tidbit of laughter, well, sure. probably in some of the worst situations that you've, that you've been in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because no matter what, it may not be funny to you at the time, but if somebody's observing from the outside, it's probably hysterical to them. Yes. And <laughs> now, you did yeah. perform in Las Vegas. I got yes. that. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Ten years I was out there. You were ten years. Yeah, in Las Vegas. and I finally was able to uh, bay, uh, uh, raise enough bail. <laughs> <laughs> you raised okay. Yeah, no, it was it was a lot of fun. And uh, my last theater was at the Westin, uh, Westin, which was on the corner of Coval and Flamingo. I was the longest running show uh, in their theater. Oh, um, yeah. Wow. I, 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 I even outdid David Brenner. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how about man. that? Yeah. Well, now that's uh, that's saying a lot, but yeah. I would have to say, in my personal opinion, well deserved. Also, now, how long have you been here in Pigeon Forge? I'm working on my fifth year. Working on your Pigeon. fifth yeah. year. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, where you're located at, so people can find you. I'm sure yeah. they can find you on the internet. They can find me on the internet. Um, the GPS will get you into our parking lot, but then people say they get confused. We're actually in a shopping center. It's not your traditional huge building theater. It's a very intimate setting. We do just under 100 people, and the theater is filled with boatloads of Red Skelt memorabilia. Some of it is even on loan from the museum. Oh, yeah. wow. And if you go to the museum, you cannot tell them I have it. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll, I'll not give it away. I'll, no, I'll they know. They know. And I'll be up there secret. again. Yeah, we have, a, we have a festival July 19th celebrating Red's life, his legacy, and his laughter. Uh, Vincennes, Indiana. Yeah, I recall. Now, the Red Skeleton show itself ran what? It ran decades. 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. Well, that was almost now, 700 episodes. Uh, from back in the 50s, did it begin yeah. in the late 50s and 50, ended? 51 to 71. 51 to 71. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I recall, as, as we were discussing before we went online, that the yeah. uh, when I was just a kid, I, that's one of the shows, one of the yeah. prominent shows that I remember. Of course, we only could get two channels at that particular time, so we didn't have much of a choice. No, no. But that was one mm -hmm. of the more fun shows, the Red Skeleton show, when you come on, my, my mother, she, she'd gather all the kids around, maybe have popcorn, or something yeah. like that, Kool-Aid, yep. yep. and uh, we'd watch the Red Skeleton show, and we'd all just be laughing our heads off, but I had this one uncle that was living at, uh, with us at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, 
He was uh, he was one of these characters that found no yeah. humor in absolute nothing. Absolutely nothing. He would hardly ever crack a smile. Yeah. Always this serious. And uh, he would be watching the skeleton show when it was over. He'd say, I, I don't understand. I just don't understand how, how you all think that's so funny. I don't see anything funny about it. Anybody could get up there and do that. But no, my mother would try to tell him, that, listen, th there's a lot of work, a lot of practice. And I'm sure yeah. uh, from what I've seen in the performance uh, that I related to and watch and it brought back yeah. those old memories yep. from the Red Skelton show. So why not give us just a little joke or two? A little joke? Yeah, a yeah. little joke or two. Come on. <laughs> we'll test the water with this one. Test the water. <laughs> okay. Do you know what do you do you know why a bride's supposed to wear white on her wedding day? I sure don't why. Because it's good for the dishwasher to match the stove in the fridge. <laughs> okay. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah some you. women don't like that joke, but, but some women yeah, don't like it. Yeah, but well, I, I lucked out. I, I married Miss Wright. I just didn't know her first name was always. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm telling you, if you get the opportunity and you're visiting the Smoky Mountains area and you're coming through Pigeon Forge, yeah. you know this is uh, on. It's the uh, Red Skelton. Theater, right? Yeah, Red Skelton and Tribute Theater. Red yeah. Skelton Tribute, yeah, yeah, let's get that in there. Yeah. Wires Valley Road East yep. 167, yep. Suite 17. Correct. We're correct? just off the parkway and behind the track. I told you I did my homework yeah. for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to let you down because well, good. I, I good. appreciate someone who puts the amount of work that you well, I, I appreciate do into you it. So, that is Wires Valley Road East. Now, if you're coming from, uh, if you're coming into town from the Sevierville area yeah. toward the mountains, you're going to turn. You see Wires Valley Road, a sign on the right hand. You're going to turn to the left. Yeah, absolutely. The light. Yep. Now, if they're coming down from uh, the park area from Gatlinburg yep. towards Sevierville on 441, or what we call the Parkway, they're yep. going to turn to the right. Yes, that is correct. And they go out that street and it'll be yeah. the complex of shops or on the, the left center. hand side yep 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 on the left hand side the little green roof mall a little okay yeah. now listen if you hey if you remember the red skeleton show you are not going to be disappointed i will assure you and uh if you have never seen it you have got to go yeah. catch this character and we Appreciate you and thank you very much. Well, thank Brian you for having Hoffman me. God bless you. Good in. night and, and God we bless. Wish you, yeah. <laughs> we wish you well. Yeah, you thank got you. It. You nailed thank it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for joining yeah. us.